Years ago, my dad showed me a movie called Fist of North Star. I loved it back then, so when I saw it, the first volume was finally translated last year, I wanted to hop back on it. After reading the first volume, it still holds up and is very deserving of a status as a classic. I wanted to discuss some characters that I thought were uh, really nice, in my opinion. Uh, one of which being the protagonist, Kenshiro, and the main antagonist of the first arc, Shin. But before I do, I think it's good that we establish the world that these people are living in. The seas dried up, the earth split. It seemed all life had perished. However, humanity survived, and violence ruled the world once again. Essentially, this is a post-apocalyptic world where everything is just, just the worst. Throughout the entire first volume, there isn't a single town in this whole world that isn't being ravaged by gangs. It's just the word. It's horrible. In the midst of all this suffering, however, there's a light in a tunnel, that being Kenshiro. Tall and muscular, this man walks into every town he's in, fixes the problem, and leaves like nothing ever happened. The way I see it, Kenshiro represents the hope of humanity when it comes to this whole post-apocalyptic world thing. No matter what the situation is, he'll always fight for good, and he'll cut the problem off at his core. How will he do this? Easy. By quite literally destroying them from the inside. It's terrifying. But while Kenshiro represents hope, Shin does not... If anything, Shin embraces the entire premise of this world. That strength is everything, and that violence rules. He's disrespectful to his teacher, he's selfish, and he will kill you if you get in his way. But that's kind of what I like about it. You're, you're supposed to hate Shin in some way. You're supposed to see him as the villain, and Kenshiro as the obvious hero. And boy will they make you hate Shin, which is why I love him as a villain. He's just so hateable. Look at him! Look at his punchable face! But as simple as his characters are, that's really all this story needs. A strong hero and a strong villain to get punched in the face. And that's kind of why Shin and Kenshiro are my favorite characters in the first volume so far. I'm not sure what it's going to be like when I continue, but yeah. Anyway, about One Piece.